The Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, or PHMSA, within the U.S. Department of Transportation, is responsible for protecting people and the environment by advancing the safe transportation of energy products and other hazardous materials that are essential to our daily lives. To do this, we establish national policy, set and enforce safety standards, educate stakeholders, and conduct research to prevent incidents. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, within the U.S. Department of Labor is responsible for ensuring safe and healthful workplace conditions for working men and women by setting and enforcing standards and by providing training, outreach, education, and assistance. Today, we want to share with you an awareness message about the hazard communication required by FIMSA and OSHA and the differences those labels represent. It's important to note that the markings, labels, and placards communicate different warnings for different situations. FIMSA regulates the transportation of hazardous materials in commerce by all modes of transportation, highway, rail, vessel, and air. FIMSA's Hazardous Materials Regulations, or HMR, requires labeling to be displayed or provided with a shipment during transportation in commerce. The HMR provides a comprehensive labeling system to communicate to personnel involved in the transportation of hazardous materials, including emergency responders and the general public, the potential dangers of handling packages containing hazardous materials, or a sudden uncontrolled release of hazardous materials during transportation. OSHA regulates the safety of hazardous chemicals in the workplace. OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard, or HCS, requires labeling of hazardous chemicals in the workplace both before and after transportation in commerce. The HCS requires labeling the immediate container with hazard information. However, for bulk shipments such as tankers or rail cars, OSHA allows this to be either on the immediate container or, as a practical accommodation, transmitting the required label with shipping papers, bills of lading, or by other technological or electronic means so that it is immediately available to workers in printed form on the receiving end of a shipment. The HMR prescribed the requirements that shippers and carriers of hazardous materials must comply with when transporting in commerce. The HMR covers classification, packaging, and hazard communication, including appropriate marking, labeling, and placarding of hazardous materials packages. The HMR requires bulk packages, which have a capacity greater than 119 gallons, to be marked with the four-digit UN identification number, indicating the hazardous materials inside. Additionally, the HMR requires packages to be labeled to indicate the DOT hazard class assigned to the hazardous material. And finally, the HMR requires vehicles carrying bulk packages of hazardous materials to be placarded on each side and each end to indicate which of the nine DOT hazard classes is present within or on the vehicle. OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard, or HCS, requires labeling of hazardous chemicals in the workplace, both before and after transportation in commerce. A hazardous chemical under the HCS is any chemical that is classified as a physical hazard or a health hazard, a simple asphyxiant, combustible dust, pyrophoric gas, or hazard not otherwise classified. A material may be considered a hazardous chemical by OSHA, but not a hazardous material by FIMSA. Therefore, it is important to understand the differences in these markings. It is not prohibited for a package to display both hazard communications for OSHA and FIMSA. If you are unsure of how a chemical is recognized under either federal regulation, you can check a safety data sheet, or SDS, for guidance. An SDS is created by the manufacturer or importer of a chemical and outlines the physical and or health hazards, as well as transport information. If you are the manufacturer or importer of the chemical, classification is needed to determine how it is regulated under the HMR or the HCS. It's important to understand the difference between what the labeling markings mean and that they refer separately to workplace hazards or transportation hazards. For more information on FIMSA Hazard Communication for Transportation, you may download the DOT Chart 16 at www.phmsa.dot.gov 
forward slash hazmat. For more information on the OSHA HCS labeling, you may visit www.osha.gov. For more information about hazard communication or the HMR, contact FIMSA's Hazmat Info Center at 1-800-467-4922 or email the Info Center at infocntr at dot.gov. Also, check out FIMSA's other resources available on its website through outreach and training links. By working together, we can keep everyone safe and in compliance.